ended up with uh, uncontrolled spikes into the facility. All sorts of things that were just bad for electronics. You're at your, your peak season and uh, you have uh, 30 or 40 percent of your factory go down, um, your customers will be affected. At the facility we see uh, brownouts in the summer uh, which cause our lines to go down and um, many times we see uh, the entire factory go down. It's uh, just a little blink uh, but that shuts down all the equipment uh, which causes us anywhere from two to four hours of downtime uh, for the entire facility. We had an idea what the problem was but we weren't really sure so we brought in some outside help to uh, record and monitor what our incoming power was from, from the utility. The plant was having a lot of power failures and every time we had a power failure we'd lose VFDs or uh, panel views, um, oven controllers, PLCs. But sometimes we'd lose forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of controllers in one shot. So all of our lines here, um, uh, it's frozen product and uh, we had an event where we had a uh, ammonia compressor go down um, and certainly that event will keep um, one or two lines down for a certain amount of time, which in this case it was, um, I believe, five or six days. Um, so the loss was tremendous as far as uh, productivity and customer service. Through calculations, knowing what um, money they have spent and what downtime they've had in the last couple of years, it was a pretty fairly uh, quick estimation that we could make that they were going to see a return on investment within about four months. And so when you look at a four-month return on investment with the amount of dollar value that they have lost over the uh, production time in the last 12 months, um, when you start to add those up, the life cycle savings uh, over the 30-year warranty was going to be in the 10 to $15 million range. A lot of devices have minimal surge protection components in them. There's a couple of MOVs, there might be a gated triac and some other components and that's it. Uh, we designed our units a bit differently. Uh, we, we put a lot of effort into having a device that not only performs well, but is also has a, a lot of safety. There, everything's getting so computerized, and uh, the angstroms per inch are getting so dense that the, even the smaller anomalies now are causing issues. So the enhanced transient filtering that we have, that majority of suppression devices don't, makes a really big difference in the return on investment for our clients. Regardless of where that transient happens on the sine wave, we can pick it up quickly. And the problem that you have without that filtering at the category A or B levels, these transients cause degradative failure over time. It's not immediate failure like a lightning strike or a surge. It's more like stress on the body where over time you're going to have a heart attack. So our devices are designed to, to last for a very long time. In the event that we have a failure, and we've had failures where lightning strikes has taken out our device, we've saved the client's equipment. That's the whole idea, that the, the purpose of that device. And then they get a free replacement. Every time we had a question, all we had to do was call, and Monica would either deal with it over the phone or she'd show up and take our guys through it. And now every piece of equipment coming in, we'll have a unit put on it right away. Working with Ennis's power was, was great. Um, certainly very turnkey. Uh, they were able to work directly with our maintenance department here, and over the course of the weekend, uh, install about 90% of the components required for a successful solution. We can generally look at a facility, um, an industrial facility, a manufacturing facility like this, and uh, we can generally protect the entire facility for less than 1% of the capital cost of their equipment for 30 years. So the investment is very small compared to the overall investment they've made in their production equipment. And our guys, after a power outage, the electricians are a little more comfortable. They're not going to have to run around with their trying to get the place back online and repair equipment because it's just not happening. It, the plant starts up and away we go. Where we once thought of, oh, you had to protect from the outside and put that protection uh, only at the main from lightning or the utility, well, that's only 10, maybe 15% of the, of, the, of the dirty power problem. That most of it's generated internally. And so applying our technology, our filtering technology, which is really our, our claim to fame, if you will, it's our filter, because it's the workhorse of our device. It's what creates this clean power. It's like giving you two bottles of water, right? And one's totally clean and the other's all murky, and I say to you, which one do you want to drink? And you say, well, of course, the clean one. And I say, well, tell you what, I'm gonna have you drink the dirty one. And even though it's not gonna kill you, 
okay? Every time you're thirsty, every time you want to drink, every time you need water to cook with, you're going to use this murky water. What do you think your health maintenance costs are going to be over time? Now see, these aren't looked at as problems, right? Because you just, you have a metric of how your business is operated at. So once I take away that murky water, right, and I give your equipment clean power all the time, you see, you've changed the metric because now the equipment lasts twice as long. Now your maintenance costs have gone down by 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. And you have to remember in a business, there's two sides to profitability. One is I sell more, right? So if I sell every dollar that I can sell, I might make a net profit after all my costs and expenses of 10 cents on that dollar. But every dollar I save in operational cost is truly a dollar that flows back to my bottom line as profits. So it's a big number and most people don't really understand that because they've been operating on this metric that says, I don't have any problems because this is the way we've always operated until they start to apply our technology and then suddenly it's like the clouds open up and they can see clearly and they see that they're, they're saving tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars and our case studies validate that.